Hi, welcome to Nursing Mandra English Question Practice. We will see cardiovascular system related question. The nurse is performing a cardiac assessment on a client. The nurse auscultates a loud blowing sound at the second intercostal space, right sternal border. How should the nurse document this finding? So there is loud blowing sound at second intercostal space at right sternal border. Option A, arterial brute. Option B, murmur heard at the aortic area. Option C, pericardial friction drip. Option D, S3 gallop heard at the mitral area. The answer is murmur heard at the aortic area. So, you can see in this picture, aortic area, second intercostal space to the right sternal border. So, the sound is there in the question, okay. So, angle of flow is then a pulmonic area, second intercostal space to the left sternal border. Then, herbs point, that is the third intercostal space to the left sternal border. Tricuspid area that is fifth intercostal space to the lower left sternal border and mitral area in the apex. Okay, fifth intercostal space at MCL and all. So you can uh, sometimes uh, in the questions and class questions and all they can ask to point out the okay these areas. So always keep this picture in your mind. So why I selected the answer murmurs? Murmurs are produced by turbulent blood flow across diseased or malformed cardiac valves. Turbulent blood flow across the diseased or malformed cardiac valves. That is murmurs. Murmurs can be characterized by musical sound, okay, musical blowing, swooshing, or rasping sound heard between the normal heart sounds. The aortic area is located at the second intercostal space right sternal border. So in the question they were asking regarding blowing sound. Here murmurs will produce blowing um, or a swooshing musical sound or rasping sound will be there between the normal heart sounds. And aortic area in the picture you can see it is located in the second intercostal space on the right sternal border. Option A that is an arterial brute. Arterial brute the sound it is like a turbulent blood flow sound heard in the peripheral artery. Not in the uh, like a cardiac valves malformation and all not there. It is in the peripheral artery if there is uh, issues there will be turbulent blood flow that sound we are calling it as arterial brute and option three that is pericardial friction rub pericardial friction rub that is high pitched uh, scratchy sound will be the scratching together okay like leather leather two leather uh, scratching that sound that is pericardial friction rub sound during s1 and s2 uh, or apex of the heart it is best heard with the client sitting and leaning forward and at the end of expiration. It occurs when inflamed surface of the heart rub against each other. That is pericardial friction rub sound. Option 4, S3 gallop sound. S3 gallop that is an extra heart sound that occurs closely after S2. It is a low pitched sound heard in early diastole that is similar to the sound of a horse's gallop. 
the mitral area is located at the fifth intercostal space medial to the mid clavicular line so we selected the option that is murmurs murmurs indicate turbulent blood flow across the diseased or malformed cardiac valves they are often described as musical or blowing or swooshing sound that occur between normal heart sounds they may be auscultated at the aortic pulmonic tricuspid or mitral areas i hope you understood regarding cardiac murmurs and the different heart sounds introducing the all new nursing mantra englux series which contains question bank which is including the new generation english question rational followed by each question helps you to understand the question the explanatory video collections with the help of illustrations and animation exam handbook mock test and cheat sheets select your package now and get started for more information about the subscription plans you can contact nursing mandra whatsapp